Today I have the distinct pleasure of speaking with Mike Druhan of Medix Health. How are you today, Mike? Wonderful, Tracy. How about you? Mike, I'm a big fan of Animal Kingdom on Netflix, and my lead character, Smurf, is dealing with stage four skin cancer. So let's just start there. Medix is here on the planet to help diagnose skin cancer early. Is that correct? That's absolutely correct. And for those of you out there who are not following Medix, you should be. So just give us a quick overview on what Medix is. So Medix is a company that has a visual technology that allows image capture, um, not only on the top of the skin, but below the skin. So it allows us to take a look at a suspicious molar lesion and be able to get that diagnosed by a dermatologist within 72 hours. And that's the most important part is triaging it so we can get at the people who have a melanoma and deal with it right away. I got into an argument over you recently, Mike, with uh, an investor. He's like, I can just take my phone and scan you know, a mole and I can find out if I have cancer. And I'm like, no, no, you've got to look at Medex. That's not correct. Correct me and help our audience understand why that is not the way to go. Right, so what we have is a bunch of technologies that are out in the marketplace that are what we call a class one device. They'll take a picture of the top of the skin and that's it. Dermatologists, and here's the interesting statistic, when you send those across the internet, 40% of those are rejected by the dermatologist because there's not enough information. Medix's device is a class two device which looks under the skin and gives a view called pathophysiology views. A little complicated on the word side, but what it does is it tells you the structure under the skin. It's the only device in the world that does it. Technology of that nature allows a dermatologist to make an accurate assessment every time. So a class two device that also has distribution. You just made an agreement for Canada, the USA, and Israel. Can you tell us a little bit more about this deal? Right, so we've been really fortunate to meet this group called Vita for life. So Vita is a relationship we've already had. We've given Vita the exclusive rights to Brazil. It's a huge market for us, 212 million people. And the interesting part about Brazil, we never see pictures in Brazil without people um, half clad and lots of sun on them. And what they do is they catch, um, they catch melanomas down in Brazil in stage three and stage four when it's really late and very expensive to treat. We've had great experience with them. And it turns out they have deep relationships both in Israel, Canada, and the US. So we opened up our channel to give them a non-exclusive right to take our technology into that. And we've been really, really pleased with the original, like the, um, with the starting work that they've done there. Um, they've opened up some pretty big channels for us already. And of course, there's many shareholders out there interested in the life sciences and the diagnostic technology. Can you tell me when someone like myself can get access to this type of technology here in Toronto? It's a great question. Um, we're under some NDAs right now, but I will say this, coming very shortly, we'll start to go into a national chain. And we have a couple of national chains that we're dealing with right now in Canada, and we will be able to have this technology, I'm guessing early by the fall, where you'll be able to just walk into a local pharmacy or a supply clinic of that nature and be able to be uh, tested right away. Well, as a shareholder, and I am a shareholder of Medex, can you tell me a little bit more about this news release uh, I saw as well about your deal in Spain? Okay, so now that one is a pretty exciting one. This is a company called Sanitas. Sanitas is owned by a company called Bupa, which is a large insurance company, globally large insurance company. So Spain has had a 50% increase over the last decade in the incidence of skin cancer. So they wanted to do a trial with us. They bought 3,000 scans from us that they paid for us and set it up in 12 of their best clients. These are national global companies. They have over 1,200 facilities, Sanitas manages private clinics and hospitals. And so what they did was they ran, of the 3,000, we run about 1,200 of them so far, and we've caught over 100 melanomas in that test. Sanitas's idea behind this is if we can catch enough melanomas that this would be worldwide for their global policyholders as a very good way of getting at the marketplace and getting prevention out there, which is what they're all about. So since I started following Medix in the new year, you've had almost a dozen news releases, so you're putting out news releases regularly. Correct. What should interested parties uh, know about your revenue presently and in this uh, upcoming year? Right, so, so guidance on the revenue kind of looks like this. We have 1,500 installs. We go from last year's revenue, which was about 1.2 million, to about eight and a half million in revenue. Now we're talking about well over 15,000 potential installs in the market right now. We're pretty comfortable with a number of 1,500 within the next couple quarters. And in doing that, 
That gives the revenue numbers of eight and a half, mil, uh, eight point five million dollars. Um, of that, um, let me see, three million of that will be hardware sales. Five point four of it will be recurring revenue on our SaaS model. So we're pretty comfortable where we are. I think the marketplace is waiting for those revenue numbers to start to show in the next couple quarters. Well, I'll tell you, Mike, as always, we appreciate the update. Thanks for stopping by. Pleasure. Nice to see you again, Tracy.